Key Lime is... Key Lime is devious. <laughs> Alright. Kilogram hours of candle here. The run back we played earlier in this tournament, and it was a very close 3 2 set. So let's see if uh, can Kilogram hours do it again, or is Candle going to uh, take the win? Take the win here, and that's an easy 92%. That's the life of playing a heavy against Olimar, as I learned earlier today. But. You know, you also get to just, I don't know. You hit him pretty hard, he dies pretty early. He's not a heavy character, so Pilgrim Arrow's going to be looking for some uh, much earlier kills and candle, I'm sure. <laughs> Both players go for a smash tag, the faster one wins, so... Candle gonna take that first stock, but Kilgram Arrow's looking to answer back. Finds the fair and makes it back. All right, dead even stock too. Man, this is looking like it's gonna be another pretty close set. Candle, quick 71% there. All of my moment. But Kilgram Arrow's getting a chance to answer back. Just doesn't quite have that same punish game, unfortunately for King DDD. And the up smash is just going to kill him straight up. Alright, Kill Grand has a little bit of a lead here. Not much though. I mean, this is still kill percent, and the back here is going to take it. I don't know why I bother saying anything. And we are. We are at last stock, and as always, Candle gets a free 60% to start the stock because that's the tax of playing a team DVD. Kilogram arrows, dancing back. I gotta find a faster, faster way to say kilogram arrows. Uh, the sense kind of getting up there. KJ, KGH is good. Yeah, I like that. Or Kilo. I'm gonna go with Kilo because I'll probably remember and the dash attack, the raw dash attack is gonna kill all of our straight up. K KGH taking game one here. Um, Alright, let's see game two, small battlefield running it back. Nothing too crazy. Dude, oh my god. Okay, don't I didn't watch performed against the actual defense. Sorry, I got distracted by the uh, the commander's comments in the chat here, but yeah, good shit. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. I kind of, I won't lie, I thought we were going to, this was going to be a week where we kind of lost and everybody was reminded why we had a top two draft pick last year, but uh, turns out Jane Daniels is just that guy. So, yeah. Anyways, game two. Uh, somehow the stock the percents were actually pretty even that first stock. I feel like Candle's been really good at finding these uh, really early high percent combos. Fishing for the uh, fishing for the up smash there, but not gonna find it. Both players pretty even percents, but one of them is Olimar and the other is King DDD. So somehow King DDD dies first. The up smash is gonna kill. Kilgram Arrows looking to finish off this stock. Keeping Olimar in the corner. Taking big damage from his own Gorda. That was a really nice Pikmin. I love, I like the, uh, the the reflected Pikmin to kill Candle there. Kind of beat him at his own game, but. Alright. And Kilo in the corner here. Uh, and just not able to get back to center stage in that down smash question mark is gonna by candle just gonna take it really really dominant second stock there candle looking to uh even up the scoreboard a little bit here but kilogram hour is not gonna go down easy the raw up smash somehow working a, a uh, weird amount but 
Yeah, Ko having to fight back from a bit of a bit of a deficit here. A whole stock and the up smash is just gonna take it. Alright, so then Kano answering back. Pretty definitive statement. Uh, saying, yeah, this is a, this is gonna be a, a close set. I'm not gonna let you take another set off me for free. Um, so yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm looking forward to the rest of this. Winner of this set, reminder faces Vencho, which is, uh, a set for sure. I'm sure we all have strong feelings about Steve. Okay, day three. <laughs> yeah, I gotta play friendly, man. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta practice. But here I am on the uh, stream setup instead. Oh well. All right. Game three. Handle huge percent lead and gonna find that kill with it. I think that was an up air. I'm not gonna lie, some of these all of my arrows look weird as shit. Uh, but whatever. And yeah, I mean, kilogram arrows getting kind of lapped in percent here. Gonna need to put a stop to Candle's shenanigans quick, but just Candle's just not giving the opportunity to make it back to stage. Gets to ledge, sharks with the up air. And now it's, now it's Kilo's turn in advantage, but he needs to find this kill ASAP. Not gonna find the not gonna find the edge guard there, but still has him in the corner. And great reversal by Candle. Keep make sure he can hang on to this stock. Get as much value out of it as possible before he before he dies. And yeah, he's just gonna straight up take another kill there. Candle kind of running away with it a little bit. Gonna find the kill with the up tilt, but... Um, yeah, Kilgram Hours, big deficit here. He's having to fight, fight back from... Big damage here from Candle. Oh, I love the B reverse. The B, the B reverse suck, but going for it all there with that that jet hammer. Not gonna find anything, and it's looking looking dire this game for Kilo. I mean, high he's at high percent. He's got still two whole stocks to go for. Meanwhile, Olimar can just kind of kill you off most pretty much everything. So he's gonna have to play super well. To uh, bring this back, and Handle just refusing to die. I mean, 150, 93% on Olimar, but 152% on King DVD. The up throw is gonna take it. All right, so Candle up 2-1 here. Sounds like they're running it back to uh, what's called small. And Candle looking really, really solid in these past two games. Looking like he's kind of going to run away with it here, but um, I should not have read chat. Oh, never mind. We're going to FD here for game game four. All right. I mean, here's yep. Candles free, free eighty percent. The uh, the DDD tax. Let's see if uh, let's see if Kilgram Hours can start putting on some damage of his own. You know, 12 twelve percent off a down tilt, not quite the same as eighty percent off like pretty much any aerial, and that S smash is gonna kill. Yeah, this is this is a brutal, brutal character to play a heavyweight against. It is what it is. That's just the life. But yeah, rough. Great, 
great recovery there by Candle. Also very good coverage by Kilogram Hours, but really mixed, mixed that up super well. Uh, I like the uh, the Tomahawk grab there. Keep keep Candle in the corner before he can get too much more damage, and there it is, just a quick 65. But that's the danger. You gotta keep pressuring, keep pressuring Candle. Otherwise, he's just gonna get so much damage off of any interaction he wins against you and this is what happens I mean you find yourself in this huge percent deficit and you just have to play absolutely perfect to keep fighting your way through and the up smash is just gonna find the kill there kilogram hours looking like he's candle candle running away with it a little bit yep yep quick 60 percent and it's looking pretty dire for kilogram hours. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say they're out of it, but it's gonna have to put something crazy together in the jet hammer. That was a very nice. Unfortunately, did not, did not kill. Like I'm sure, it. He was hoping it would. Obviously, didn't really look close to killing either. But um, yeah, handle keeping. Keeping the percent racking up, I mean, getting to the point where a stray aerial might just kill. So, Kilgram Mara's gonna have to put in some work here in the last stock to keep himself in in it. Looking rough, 168% as King DDD. I mean, there's not much from Olimar you're gonna be able to live at this point. So, gonna have to put something together at this rate. I will say, Rage coming in, like, King DDD can put on a lot of damage with this rage here but you're gonna have he's gonna play absolutely perfectly or just anything from candle is gonna take him out he's gonna have to find this edge guard great tech by can by candle on the uh, there there and the reflected gordo is gonna kill him uh, so candle taking it 3-1 in the run back over kilogram hours great set well, well really well played by both players yeah uh, and we are seeing Candle move on to fight Bencho. Uh, just as a reminder, to, I guess not a reminder, but we got Bencho versus Candle losers finals, and we got Comet waiting up in uh, waiting, up, waiting up in Grand for the winner of that set. So yeah, let's. Uh, the thing about Diddy is, uh, I think, I've been really playing a lot of effort. Yeah, I can tell. You were like a lot more, you were just a lot more patient. You weren't the fittest in the first place ever. And that's really good. Yeah. It's also about really fucking hard to hit you. So, like, like, like I think that's low key your best attribute. It's just your movement. Am I your defensive movement? Yeah, like, I think that's like your best attribute. I think I'm like one of the best defensive players. Yeah, like, I think I'm like one of the best defensive players. It just